In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add a user to your Bitbucket repository, whether you're collaborating on a team project or sharing your work with a colleague. It's essential to know how to manage user access effectively. So let's dive right into the process. First, you need to log in to Bitbucket Cloud. Open your preferred web browser and head over to the Bitbucket login page. Enter your account credentials and sign in. Once logged in, you'll be directed to your Bitbucket dashboard, where you can see all the repositories that you have access to. Navigate to the specific repository you intend to share. To do this, locate the repository from the list on your dashboard or use the search feature if you have many repositories and want to quickly pinpoint the correct one. Once you've opened the repository, look towards the top right corner of the page. There, you'll find an Invite button. This button is your gateway to adding new collaborators. Go ahead and click it. Doing so will open up options for you to manage your team or group access to the repository. Upon clicking Invite, you'll be prompted to choose between adding individual users or groups. Since you're looking to add a specific user in this instance, select the Add Users option. This step is crucial as it ensures you're addressing the right individuals or teams for collaboration. With that selected, it's time to enter the user's information. You can either type in their Bitbucket username or their email address. Make sure that the information is accurate to avoid any errors in inviting the wrong person or failing to reach the intended user. If you're entering an email, double-check the spelling to ensure that no typos will prevent successful delivery. After entering the user's details, your next task is to select the appropriate permission level. Bitbucket allows you to assign different roles, read, write, or admin. Consider what level of access this user should have. If they only need to view and clone the repository, the read permission suffices. Should they be involved in writing and merging code, opt for the write permission. Finally, if the user requires full control, including managing repository settings, the admin role is necessary. Choosing the correct permission level helps maintain the security and integrity of your project. Once you've defined the permissions, review everything one last time. If everything looks good and you've settled on the permission level, click the Confirm button. This final step sends an invitation to the user granting them access based on the permissions you've selected. It's that simple. And there you have it. You've successfully added a user to your Bitbucket repository. With these clear and straightforward steps, you can easily manage who has access to your code, making collaboration simple and efficient. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.